Florin. Well, we have new video this morning of the man detectives say robbed a truest bank at gunpoint. You can see orange jumpsuit. He is in custody. It looks like old habits die hard because Fox 4 learned this is not the first time he's accused of robbing a local bank at gunpoint. Fox 4's Ella Rhodes is at the truest bank that was hit on Tuesday with what we know about this guy. Good morning, Ella. Yeah, Amy, it's quiet right now at this truest bank behind me over on Palm Beach Boulevard, but I just want to show you how busy this road actually is. Take a look. This is Palm Beach Boulevard at 7 in the morning. That armed robbery that took place here at the truest bank happened at 9 a.m. So just imagine the amount of traffic that saw what was happening off this road right here. Also, a nearby high school had to go on lockdown while this armed robbery was happening. Just take a look again at all of these cars. When the sheriff's office says 71 year old Grant Davis went to the bank, fired around into the air and demanded money. Deputies say he got away with cash, but didn't say how much and no one was injured. Fox 4 was first to learn that Davis has a history of robbing banks. 23 years ago, he was arrested for a similar scene, robbing the South Trust Bank on Alva Avenue North, a bank in Lehigh Acres at gunpoint. Documents obtained by Fox 4 say Davis had a sawed off shotgun and made off with cash. Police had surveillance pictures of him, but the case went unsolved for several months. That's until January of 2001. Davis walked into the sheriff's office in Lehigh Acres, showed them a newspaper article of the robbery and said he did it. Deputies say Davis had details only the bank robber would know and arrested him on the spot. Now, Davis was arrested for this week's bank robbery at a 7-Eleven in Lehigh Acres, and the FBI will be taking over that investigation, according to LCSO, due to the severity of the charges. Live in Fort Myers, Ella Rhodes, Fox 4.